What's going on everybody? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different than I normally do. And something that I think I want to start doing. I want to start doing commentary over gameplays. So if you have a video or a gameplay that you have that you enjoy, that you think you did really good at, send it to the link in the description. Look down there, there'll be a link. Send an unlisted video from YouTube. As long as it's unlisted and nobody else can see it, I will upload it and I'll do commentary for your gameplay. On the Beastly Gamer channel. So today's video, the very first one I'm going to do, is actually for me and The Last of Us, one of my favorite games. Let's get right into it. All right, so it looks like we're on Lakeside. I'm with a group of randoms. These are people I've never played before, never played with before. So here we go. Uh, first thing I want to try to do is hit this box. I normally try to get, you know, do kind of like a one man thing against the other team. One of the smartest tactics in this game for me is to get behind the opposing team. Uh, but it doesn't look like I'm doing that now. And the weapon of choice. My, my, one of my favorite weapons in this game now is the bow. It took me a long time to kind of warm up to it. Uh, but the bow is just a really, really special kind of weapon. Uh, you know, there's no way for the enemy to be able to, to detect where the arrows are coming from. And so, for me, that's one of the, the funniest things in the world. When you shoot someone, there's a guy in front. You see him up there. Uh, you see him up there on the left, kind of in the middle of the screen. He doesn't know I'm here. Let's see what happens. Sometimes it's a waiting game. He's Russian. I'm not talking about where he's from either. He is Russian. I don't think he knows I'm here. So let me see if the beast can pull this out. Hopefully I do okay and take this guy out. All right, he's still there. There's no clue. Let's see what's going on. Oh, Better look alive. oh nice. I think, he's, I think he's running for it. I think he's running for it. You little bitch. He ran from me, man. Oh, and that's what happens when you run from the beast. One of my team members take that ass out. All right. All right, so we got somebody. Obviously, Russian. I think he's going to go inside the building here. He is. Uh, oh. Oh, that's how you do it. Bow takedown. Two shots. All it takes. Blaze him out. Home skillet. Trying to come and steal my kill, but he was a little too late. Um, This game. You know, for some people that don't understand it, you know, some of the people that I know in the gaming community don't get it. There's really very few games out there to me as rewarding as the multiplayer for this game. It's really nothing like, quite like it for me. The, the crafting, the placement, you have to be so quick on your toes. And, you know, a lot of people just can't get it. They don't understand. Oh, where's he going? Where's he going? We gotta go check this guy out. There's two of them. You gotta be careful, man. Okay, Spud. Oh! Oh, where are you going? Oh, <laughs> he thought he was going someplace, man. That bow is that bow is rough. Waiting for your buddy, man. Sometimes you gotta take him. You gotta take him out sometimes. All right. So see, you keep enemies marked. You can keep them marked, and that way the rest of your team knows where they are. The people who don't play this game, you know, whenever I mark somebody, every one of my team knows where they are, and it gives you an advantage if you know what you're doing. Right. Oh. <laughs> Now that El Diablo is just, oh, it's deadly. It's just so deadly. One left to worry about. All right, let's check this box. Let's see what I get out of this box. You gotta pick up, you gotta pick up your blueberries, man. Those blueberries, they mean a lot in the meta game. Believe it or not, I don't really play the meta game. A lot of people wonder, they're like, man, how come you're level 315? I never play the meta. I don't think I've ever completed one meta session. I just play the game. And, you know, someone in my comment section recently asked me about that. Why I, why I don't play the meta. I just happen. And, and maybe it's I have a short-term memory. I forget what the hell I'm supposed to be doing when I'm in here playing this game. But it's just so much fun playing it. I think there's a guy right here. I gotta be careful. All right, he's up here. You just gotta be very aware of this game, man. Sometimes, you know, play actually playing the game. All right, I got my stick. I got my, my, my they call it a bitch stick. Because you put nails in it and you just destroy people with it. I love it. Let's see. Let's see what's about to happen. Drop the nail bomb. That's a really good spot to drop a bomb. People Come never out. check that area. More than likely, somebody's going to get caught by that nail bomb as they approach. Of course, I'm running uh, covert, covert training. So whenever I'm down crouched like that, people can't see me even in listen mode. I think it just adds a whole new layer. To the way you play the game is really, really awesome. Let's see what happens here. Bombs armed, look alive. Okay, so I'm, I'm just taking chances, pretty much dropping bombs in random spots because I think it's going to catch someone. The team is up by six men right now. So anything that happens, still, I don't think I've died yet. Some 
hopefully the beast can come through. The beast can come through and, and kick a little bit of ass. Behind must have seen someone. I must have saw someone the first time. I didn't see him the second time. What's going on, beast? Something's going on over there. Whenever you see that red dot, it means either someone's running or someone's shooting. Right, so our guys are going down. One coming from the guys, are, there's somebody right there. I don't think they see me. Down him, guys. Get over there, down. Oh no. We made somebody rage quit already. Oh, he got caught by my bomb. <laughs> see, we drop those nail bombs in inconspicuous spots, man. Uh, people have no clue. They just run right up into them. Oh snap. Oh, he's down. Headshot from the beast. Headshot with that El Diablo. Now, if you're just doing body shots with El Diablo just because you have to, that's one thing. But, alright, let me see. Will I be able to take him? Will I be able to take him? Let's see if I can take him. Oh, one, two. Oh, got him. That's how the beast does it, baby. That's how the beast does it. Oh snap. Got him both. That's how you do it. Now it's time to throw some armor on. I'm pretty sure of that. Put that armor on, beast. What are you doing? You should know by now. Yeah! Alright. Armor and more El Diablo shots. Let's reload that gun and get ready to kick some more ass. Alright, so these guys are down to their last three. They got six men left. So let's see what happens. Six of them versus, <laughs> wow, 19 of us. They've had a really rough run in the game. But like I said, this is randoms. I never really play this game with teams. Um... It just really never hardly ever comes together for me. Usually if someone wants to play, I'm playing something else, or my brother is out handling business. I got younger brothers who play this game. And probably they're the most fun, you know, playing with them. But it sometimes doesn't come together, and sometimes you gotta depend on people you don't know. You gotta depend on the, the others. The other brothers. Alright, so they got they got shrub. Let's see if I can do anything about that. Oh snap. I saw a sniper. I saw oh I see that sniper. Oh shit. Where, where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Oh, he's trying to snipe. Oh! Pop your head up. Pop. Man, heal. You gotta heal. Oh, I don't have any healing items. I gotta find I gotta find a healing item. I gotta find one now. Oh, there's one. Let's grab that. Alright. Heal it up, baby. Cause he's still there. I see that sniper. I see that, that glare of sunlight. Pop it up! Boom! Oh! oh headshot to that bitch! That's how you do it, man. Oh, that's how you do it. He's there, he's there, he's there, he's there. Oh, oh, it's the beast. It's the beast. I'm not even from the east, but I am from the east. But hey, it is what it is. That's how you do it sometimes, man. Sometimes you just gotta give it to him. You know, and it's, I'm nowhere near the best of this game. There's so many other YouTubers out there who play this game exclusively. Um, uh, the Last of Us Comebacks. Uh, uh, let me think of some. Simao. Uh, Got it. These guys are much, much better than me, uh, and, and they play it full time. And I wish I could just do comebacks all the time like they do, but I'm a humble guy. I'm not as good as the best, but I still enjoy this game you know, tremendously. It's just an amazing, amazing game to play. Let's see what's happening. They're down to their last three. I think they're going to try to, I think going to, try to hold up at the end of the map inside the little tower up there and see what happens. Can you see anybody? Can you see him? I think they're learning about the El Diablo now. You know, when you stick your head out and someone has an El Diablo and they got a steady hand, phew, it's going to be tough. Oh, he's right here. Oh, man. Oh, there's two inside the house. So it's rough. It's two. Where are you going? Where are you going, son? Oh, sit down. Oh, oh, man. How, oh, man, how tough is that? Is that it? I think it might be. Oh, we won. 9-9-0 nine, nine for the piece. Hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. If you did, give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, tell your friends about me, and if you've got gameplay like this, check out the link in the description.